What's good fellas, welcome to the first episode of Manager Mode on FIFA 13 and today we're going to be picking a team that we hopefully going to do for a couple of seasons and the team I went with is Borussia Dortmund and one of the reasons I went with them is because they're so young and so talented and a second reason is being because I don't know much about Bundesliga and I wanted to learn through FIFA 13 and also with help of you guys uh, commenting I wanted to learn about this league and I think this is the best way to learn about it as fast as possible and that's why I chose Borussia Dortmund so I'm really excited to play and try out this team I want to see the progression of this team because they're so young there's a lot of players that have a lot of good potential and that's what I want to see I want to see the development of the young players and as you can see I'm picking the coach Otmar uh, Hitzfeld he's actually a coach for Austria I believe but before he was a coach for Borussia Dortmund and I think they won Champions Cup under him so congratulations to him he had a terrific career with Borussia as well as playing for Germany uh, I think in the past he was one of the best players on Germany so he definitely had a great career so I decided to bring him back to Borussia because they won a Champions Cup it's only appropriate he is the best coach in the history I believe of Borussia Dortmund and I'm going to try to win a Champions Cup, a Bundesliga and Domestic Cup. But I'm not going to promise you that it's going to happen in one year. I'm going to try to win all three cups and I'm not going to finish my seasons until I do that. So as long as it takes me to win, I will do that. And I don't know if you noticed that, but I am playing on world class difficulty. So it's going to be quite difficult for me. And right here I decided to put Sebastian Kale on um, transfer list I know he's the captain I know he's probably the most valuable player at the moment but I just wanted to get rid of the 32 year old uh, center defensive midfielder because I'm not gonna play him that much I want a young player that's gonna develop that has progression and someone who can fit this team and that's when I decided to go and replace him I searched for a midfielder CM obviously because that's the position that you could only search for you can do a specific position like CDM and uh, then I went for strength because you want your CDM to be strong to be able to stop um, the attackers and uh, the money that I was willing to spend is 10 million I do have 21.5 million in my budget but I wasn't gonna give up that easy I wanna save up some money on scouts as you will see later in the video and maybe some other transaction but right here I decided to go with the age of 22 to 28 and the reason is because that's the only age that kinda of fits my team and uh, that's the list that came up now Mohamed uh, Sissoko was actually a pretty good choice but he was 27 and I wasn't gonna spend that type of money on him and I really wasn't impressed with the rest of the list I was going down and we did have Abu Dhabi from Arsenal he's pretty good but he's injury prone I believe so I decided not to go after him and look at the bottom of the list Musa Sissoko from France a 22 year old center midfielder look at his physical stats they're just incredible and I believe they get to all green which is great for midfielder and other stats are all yellow except for volleys I believe so that's amazing so at least he's gonna be a all-around player with amazing physical stats and that's incredible as a 22 year old he has loads of potential and he's only 6.5 million which is a bargain in my opinion so I had to jump on this opportunity and I offered him a right back 32 year old who's worth 900 K and I offered him a 3.5 million because my chief executive suggested that I should offer somewhere between 3.6 to 5 and with a player I, I could offer less so I wanted to see what they're gonna say and right here I'm just signing this um, trying to sign a free agent as a right back because I don't have strong right back as a sub so I decided to bring him in just in case my other right backs get injured he's probably gonna be my uh, rotation player and right here I'm hiring scouts as I said before and one of the things that I do spend a lot of money on is scouting because I like finding new young talent so I love having a lot of youth squad players with a great potential on my team and that's gonna be my focus as well 
trying to basically raise Borussia Dortmund's potential as well as bring in youth players with a great potential as well. So hopefully that will balance each other out because you never know when you're going to receive a great offer for a young player and I do have a lot of young players so I'm sure richer clubs will be interested in some of these guys and if the price is right and I'm willing to give up that player then I will definitely uh, give it to the other team for a right fee and with that fee I could buy a scout I could buy a experienced player or m maybe a more established player which is gonna contribute to my growth of my team and improvement of my team but I'm not just looking to improve my starting 11 I'm also looking to improve my substitutes because I'm gonna be playing in Champions League in domestic cup and Bundesliga I'm gonna have to have a lot of players that can come in and contribute as good as my starting 11 and the only way is to improve my substitutes and as well as my youth players so hopefully that's gonna work out this season it's gonna be very difficult I could tell you right now and I think if I do end up signing Musa Sissoko it's gonna be really helpful for my team because he's capable of playing anywhere in the midfield as well as playing a center back because he's 6'2 he's very strong and fast he could definitely play in that position and right here I'm just sending my scouts to find some young talent and the first scout is from Germany so I'm gonna send him to Germany for six months to find me a physically strong type of player because Germans are known for f being very physical I decided to pick that type of player and hopefully it will increase chances of me getting a good player I'm not sure if it works but that's just me kind of stereotyping Germans I guess and that's why I chose that type of player now the next scout is from France so I decided to send him to France as well and to find me a winger someone like Patrice Evra or Nasri would be great and we're gonna see what kind of results he's gonna give us and the last scout is from Netherlands so I'm gonna send him to Netherlands of course to find me technically gifted now I wasn't too sure if I'm gonna find uh, that type of player someone like Schneider would be really nice but I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to find we'll see now let's look at my primary objectives for this season as you could see they want me to win the league title the Bundesliga they want me to win the domestic cup and also reach semi-finals in Champions League so that's a very difficult task for Borussia Dortmund it's going to be extremely hard to do that but uh, hopefully we'll have enough talent to do that and as you could see they rejected my offer for Musa Sissoko they wanted over seven million and I decided to bump up the price and keep the player that I offered him the 32 year old uh, right back and I bumped the price up to 5.5 I believe and I thought I had a pretty good chance of getting that because my chief executive suggested that I should get him with five million so that's what I went with just over uh, five million and hopefully I can get him without a problem so we're gonna skip into the further date and we actually got this free agent the right back from Hungary I believe and he's gonna be a nice addition I'm not gonna be using him too much but he's a very good player uh, and he was free so it was nice to have him on my squad and in case someone goes down I have a replacement so we're gonna skip ahead a little further as you can see Barcelona is interested in Cavani as well as Fernando Torres now at this point I was in the party with Lumberjack and he's another youtuber that posts FIFA 13 career mode so check him out I'll put the link to his channel in the description be sure to subscribe if you like his content but imagine having Fernando Torres, Lionel Messi and David Villa up front that's just a scary trio uh, very hard to imagine but still a possibility in this career mode and right here we get another denial from this French team and at this point I decided it's better to be safe because I did not want to get rejected one more time because I thought if I did get rejected one more time it would be a final and I wouldn't be able to get him so I decided to be safe and offer him 6.5 million in addition with that right back who's a 32 year old player and I think at this point I was feeling pretty confident that I could get him and this is a Jose Manuel who's actually going to be searching for international opportunities for me which is great because I am interested I'm not quite sure what kind of team I wanna uh, coach yet but right here Musa Sissoko 
they accepted the offer so I decided to offer him 20,000 per week uh, for four years he's only 22 years old so he has a lot of growth as I said before and he's gonna be my important first team player he's not gonna be regular first team player but definitely an important one I'm gonna use him off the bench to bring some energy and give some rest to Bender as well as Gundogan because they are my midfielders at the moment and Matt Hummels was uh, was drawing interest from Manchester United but there's no way I was gonna get rid of him because he's way too valuable to me even though they offered more than he's actually valued at I just could not give up at this point and I'm actually gonna make him a captain as you will see further in the video but back to Musa Sissoko he accepts the offer so I decided to sign him right away and put him into my squad I was very excited to sign him and I'm not quite sure what his role is going to be at the moment, but for now I'm going to use him as a substitute to bring some energy, some strength, and also stop those uh, attackers slash midfielders, and hopefully he'll do a good job of that. So I'm looking forward to using him. I'm very excited. His physical stats are just incredible, and I'm definitely recommending him uh, for your career mode if you are doing one. And right here, Arsenal actually showed some interest in Sebastian Kell. They offered 1.6 million for him. Now he's valued at 2.3. Now I felt that offer was just a little low, so I decided to bump it up to 2 million and give him a counter offer. See how they react towards that. I mean, he is valued at 2.3, so I think I could get at that price. Although he is a 32-year-old, so he's on decline. But uh, we'll see how Arsenal responds and they respond with a 1.8 million. At this point I said why not, this is a good um, value for him, only 500k less than he's valued at. So I decided to take it and that's how uh, the episode will come to an end. So thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Next will be the friendly games and I will see you later guys, have a nice day.